All right, so now we have Mercury. He is going to see Aeneas, and he is going to address Aeneas about what's going on. So continuum. We need to embod it. Um, sometimes this can be used as attack or um, address a cost. Uh, This may be uh, like a verbally assault, but the he is Mercury, the him is going to be Aeneas in this instance. And when I say addresses, you got to understand that this is way more than a just a, hey, how's it going? This is a verbal lashing, a straight hardcore talking to... Mm. Alright, so our nominative is there, our verb is all the way there and there. And Uxorius is uh, describing the two and whipped or being very devoted to your wife. Um, which is interesting that he uses this word because that would suggest that earlier that they were married. Um, Built up the beautiful city. Or last. Uh, and then this is going to be a vocative participle. This is modifying Regnator. This is a shortened form of Deorum. The ruler God himself sends may me day on Demita is down, down from Claro Olympo, famous Olympus. To be to you. Who turns? The Skylands with his Numine. Now the U is important here. So it's not name, but Divine Will or Divinity. The Ipsa, he himself.
orders and presumably there's an implied me in there. These mandata, these commands, these mandates through Swift Air. What are you building? Now, this is going to be your verb, and that's not land. All right. That's uh, to waste away. <laughs> or with what hope do you spend or to waste your leisure? in the Bicken lands. If no glory, of such rarum exploits, moate, norm, um, but more, no more over or in addition to these. And then the ipse is going with the wrist here. Do you yourself? Undertake the labor or the task. For your praise. Respike. Look back or reflect on, think of. Rising Ascanius, and Ascanius is Aeneas' son. And the uh, space. Kui to whom? The kingdom of Italy and Intellus is third declension feminine. So he goes after him, digs into him, and is like, and if this isn't going to make you do, think about your kid. And 
And then Kalenius is Mercury. Locutus is a deponent. Uh, participle, so that's why we're translating it actively. That's going to be a long I, which is going to make that an E, so that's going to be accusative. Um, describing that guy. And then he just vanishes. Like he says that thing and his poof is gone, which would be crazy weird. And he want to. Procol at a distance. From Oxley's, from his eyes into thin air. All right, so Aeneas, he is becoming more and more Carthaginian. Finally, the gods have had enough, and Aeneas needs to get on with his destiny. They send Mercury down, and he lays in Aeneas. So the question is, uh, since Aeneas has to go now, what does he do about Dido?